All right, Sunday, and I'm tired. <laughs> Another edition of uh, what the fuck happenings in the YouTube atheist community, and I'm this video is gonna suck because I don't even think I can talk straight. But we'll try to make the best of it. So um, yeah, it's probably still posted on Maroon Island or wherever I am, way out there in the suburbs. <laughs> um, because the YouTube thing, yeah, the account will probably be unsuspended, the Amendum account. But yeah, I'm probably still not gonna post too many videos on it because of the two strike thing. And uh, since I don't know exactly how the other video was a violation of the terms of service, you know, they can sort of suspend my account for nothing. I mean, they can just make up an excuse. So, uh, who knows? Things might just stay this way for a while. But whatever. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, planet Earth is doomed. Human race is doomed. There's probably no point in even making videos. Probably no point in even talking. This, all these words are probably just dust in the wind <laughs> but anyway let's get on to business uh, the amazing atheist made a lot of videos um, and a lot of bad videos but he did he did made some kind of quote in one of his videos uh, like he says he says I see stupid people saying stupid things then I'm gonna do something about it and so that's how I feel about it I mean he says a lot of stupid things and he's got almost 50,000 subscribers now so he's got a whole audience feeding on his whatever blubber and uh it's just not good all right well anyway he was doing that whole five questions bullshitty thing and uh you know even if the, you know, the one of them we just had an exchange with venom fang x and it was kind of lame because he, he didn't even get the question right i mean i didn't watch the venom fang x video so i don't know if venom fang x pointed it out but it seemed pretty clear that venom fang x was talking about infinity going backward not forward and TJ was arguing the forward concept rather than the backward concept but I mean arguing with Venom Fang X is pointless anyway um, and I just thought it was kind of lame too I mean Venom Fang X apparently answered the question in text rather than saying it in the video and what's the difference I mean if you ask somebody what's their favorite color and they say the word blue or they write the word blue what's the difference you got your fucking answers um, but I like I said I didn't, I didn't listen to the videos I mean I can't I can't be bothered with that guy he's just so I mean, to create a whole conundrum, like there's some sort of, all right, here's the big philosophical d dilemma. You know, the proof of God is, oh, well, you know, screwdrivers just don't come out of nowhere. Something must have to create them. A human being has to make them. And it's just such a stupid argument because um, God is a little more complicated than a screwdriver. And how come he doesn't have to account for God's existence? It just always was. The creator doesn't need a creator. I mean, it seems <laughs> seems a gross hypocrisy uh, that the screwdriver has to have a creator, the biological machine has to have a deliberate creator, um, but the God, the creator, the person, the instrument capable of making such things, that doesn't need a creator. I mean, it's just so stupid. And then even the whole eternal forever and ever thing going backward doesn't even make any sense. So God knows everything, and so he just sits around forever and eternity and then one day it just poofs into his head oh wait i forgot to make human beings i mean i mean that part really doesn't make any sense i mean if you know everything then you already know what the fuck you're going to do and you'd be saying well why the fuck would i wait a zillion gazillion years to create human beings i might as well get just might might as well get over with might as well get it done so why why was he hanging around what was he doing forever before he decided to do the human thing but whatever, I mean, it's just stupid, it's just, it's not a paradox, it's not a continuum, it's not a, a logical, it's not even something to trip over, it's just obvious that uh, you, you can explain why, f how physical forces can evolve, you can't explain how a god evolves, <laughs> it just doesn't happen, how it's birthed, um, so whatever, enough said, fuck that part. Um, anyway, I mean, they, they did the video of, you know, ragging on civilization, essentially. Oh, power corrupts, and uh, all power is essentially evil. And so then later in his one-hour long video Sunday, he, he adds on to that, that he doesn't think people should have to pay taxes, and they shouldn't have to do this, and they shouldn't have to do that. And it's like, yeah, but we're supposed to invest in infrastructure, and we're supposed to do this, and we're supposed to, you know, you can't have it both ways. 
I mean, if you didn't oblige people to pay taxes, there'd be no landing on the moon. I mean, if you had to, if you had to wait for enough donations to come in, we wouldn't have done it. Okay, there wouldn't have been no Hoover dams. There wouldn't have been a lot of things. There wouldn't be public education. There wouldn't be public library. There wouldn't be a lot of things if you waited for people to pull the money out of their pocket voluntarily. So it's just bullshit. So why even preach kind of that kind of crap? And so he calls that big daddy government that requires you to, you know, obey rules. Uh, you know, apparently he doesn't, he really thinks that you can just let people do whatever the fuck they want and it's no problem. And just let the vigilantes take care of the justice thing. You know, let the big giant fucktards beat up everybody and everything will be just fine. This is so fucking stupid. Um, I mean, you can't even argue with it. It's, it's as dumb as Venom Fang X, you know, magic god poof from nowhere bullshit. All right, and then he ragged on the rape victims again. And he'll he'll keep professing that, oh, I have all this empathy and I'm not really ragging on vape, rape victims. But he, that's exactly what he does. He just said, one, one thing comes out of his mouth one minute, I'm sympathetic. And the next minute, he just basically throws them all into the same category and says, oh, the whole system is feeding them a line like they're supposed to be victims and all this. And he doesn't have any evidence of any of that. Uh, he has, what, some... Mori Povich show or something. I mean, what's your evidence that there's this huge cons conspiracy in the psychiatric community to make women obsess about their victimhood? I mean, it's just such a pile of crap. Um, <laughs> whatever. I mean, bases it on nothing. Bases it on this supposition. Well, I've talked to three women, and therefore I know women. <laughs> uh, fuck you. All right, in the long video, Sunday. Okay, again with the stupid Watchmen movie. Who the fuck cares? Stupid characters. I mean, these are all cartoon characters, and I—I I mean, Underdog is a more understandable character. Bugs Bunny is more understandable than what I've heard of these stupid characters, these complex intellectuals that can't, you know, figure out how to tie their shoes. Ah, yes, they're all super geniuses, uh, you know, but they can't figure out the simplest things like, oh, there's milk spilled on the floor. I guess we should clean it up. You know, but no, they have to turn that into a big complex equation. Well, if I clean up the milk, then the others, the other the organisms want to learn how to clean up the milk themselves. Or, you know, if you want world peace, you have to, you know, smash everybody with a sledgehammer or some other kind of bullshit. Yeah, I mean, it's all this convoluted justifications for things that really aren't going to happen in any real world. It's all just fantasy bullshit. And so if you're going to have fantasy, then you might as well just stick to underdogs. Stick, stick to some kind of simplistic character. Some little... You don't have to make it complex. You know, all these, you know, questions of... Um, uh, unobvious questions, anyway. You don't have to bother with anything unobvious. But anyway, whatever. People like that shit, fuck it. And all this chariot of the toads kind of bullshit. I don't even know what the fuck. It's all this phantasmagorical shit and everything now. Um, I mean, just make a video about something real, like the futility of our existence. Somebody make that movie, please. Futile. Be a good title. Uh, so whatever. Um, said something about Obama and I don't know. It's like somehow the middle ground is the place where everybody should be. And it's not really the middle between Republican and, and Democrat. No, it's somewhere over there, okay? Not, not the middle. The, you know, the compromise between those two parties sucks. Um, what we need is something outside of that special interest, period. Something that's just based on basic principles. Do unto others as you have others do unto you kind of a thing. Uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what I wrote here. Oh, Robin Williams says, apparently got to have heart surgery, and that bothers him a little bit. He thinks he's funny. He's a, he is a funny guy. I mean, he's, he's strange as hell and all that kind of crap, but whatever, you know. So a lot of people have troubles in life. It happens to us all, you know. We're all going to get that shit. Um, all right, unions. He says unions are going to be coming to the south. <laughs> you know, come on. Especially with the bad economy. No, it works the other way around. All right, when you have a bad economy employees lose all their power because everybody's a fucking scab. I mean, everybody's like, well, fuck it. I, you know, I don't need a fucking union card. All I need is to get enough food to feed my fucking family and to keep that roof over my fucking head. Um, so it's when unions are their weakest when economies are this broken. Uh, so it ain't gonna happen. Um, you know, and the South is, you know, <laughs> the South is full of idiots. They all, they're all lottery players, basically. 
they all think this billionaire thing is going to happen to them. They all have some grand dream that they're all going to be billionaires and like own the biggest trailer park in the world or something. I don't know. Idiots. All right, so that's enough of him for now, but I'll probably have to come back to him later because he's the only person making videos. I mean, fuck, the YouTube atheist community is kind of, you know, not much happening. Sorry, nobody's talking much. At least anything, you know, comprehensible. Uh, so fake Sagan, he's caught up in some sort of more discussion with this RV guy, and he just kind of drones on more about relationships between people than anything to do with the real subject, which is just this obvious... Yes, I mean, look, you want to be, you, you have some affinity for your race. You're, you're going to feel bad because there's no more white people on the earth or no more people with blue eyes or some other bullshit. It's all subjective crap, Ola. But yeah, you want to live that, fine. You want to try to to engineer your life so you only reproduce with other white people, the proper genetic um, heritage or whatever. Nobody's stopping you, so go ahead. Try to build your white nation. Um, but the idea that you would take our, this nation, this country that has principles of fairness and say, yeah, we're going we're gonna to pervert that into some mechanism that's going to worry about preserving racial integrity is really kind of lame and stupid. Um, there's no, it, it can't be done. I mean, it can't be done protecting people's civil rights. And that's what it's really all about. I mean, racism doesn't fucking matter. If you believe in civil rights, I don't fucking care if you're a racist. Be as racist as you want. Be as white nationalist as you want. As long as you respect the fact that every other individual has a right to have their own um, preferences and such. And that they have a right not to worry about their genetics. And they have a right to be, you know, mutts and bastards and all of that shit. And you really don't have any right to tell them who they can love and who they can have love with and all that other shit. Um, but it's all, come on, just admit it. I mean, you know, it's all because you're white. I mean, that's all it is. I mean, everybody loves their stuff. Everybody loves, has an affection for the things that they're comfortable with. So, yeah, just admit that that's all it is. It's just psychological nonsense. But I don't see why they're having this whole convoluted, long conversation about all this bullshit about bullshit. I mean, the subject isn't that complicated. But whatever. Who cares? Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So Cody, Cody made a couple of videos. He's complaining about this art thing again. Like somehow the integrity of art is being compromised because people are selling out. And yeah, it's happened all the time. I mean, you know, especially in, in you know, I guess somebody sold one of the, somebody's songs, Smashing Pumpkins or some other kind of bullshit. Um, and yeah, so the guy probably lost a whole ton of money in the stock market or something or some other bullshit happened or his financial ma manager stole all his money, his brother-in-law or whatever and went to, you know, Bermuda or something. And so, yeah, he needs money and so he's going to sell some shit to make some money. Uh, that's what people do. Um, but regardless, <laughs> I mean, even manufactured art has value. I mean, commissioned art has value. Some of the best art in the world that's ever known was commissioned all right, guys did it not because they really were inspired to do it, but because somebody else gave them agendas and said, here, create this this tribute. Um, and I think lots of great music over time has been created by people who were trying to write great music. I mean, that was their intent, was to manufacture something that would be... Um, that would be... Um, uh, satisfying or rewarding to the masses to as many people as possible they weren't deliberately trying to be oh yeah I'm gonna be you know uh, whatever the word is for it but I'm gonna I'm just gonna go with my little specialty my my little the seven people who really like this crap and so yeah I'm gonna just you know bang hammers on my head and go ooh, ooh or make some kind of noises and you know the other yeah, seven people who really like that and so yeah I'm gonna cater to those seven uh, so anyway, it's just a kind of a silly argument. Um, yeah, commercialism sucks, and so a lot of that, a lot of attempts to manufacture something come out lame, I and mean, they turn out like a pet rock or whatever. All right, they don't turn out to be something of any value. Um, but a lot of efforts are the other way around. So what's it just doesn't matter. Um, it all works. Um, so what's the difference? The end product ends up being pretty good. Uh, so what's the difference? Uh, what the incentives are, what the motivations are. Um, 
it's just too too much it's, it's like turning it into a religion or something but anyway and then the whole hypocrisy of it is is that you know i think cody manufactures his videos i mean i think he engineers them i mean he, i think he plays mind games with his audience i mean he knows what to say and what not to say and how to say it and do all i mean he's playing his fucking audience so it just seems like a lot of fucking hypocrisy